What's up guys? Welcome back. Maverick here today with another episode of Spy Family. So last episode, we received great news that Anya is now going to school. She has been accepted. And then of course, a little wholesome episode, uh, as many of you have been saying, really expanded on within the anime. So apparently it was just a very, very short uh, sequence or, or chapter within the manga. I guess they probably, uh, the animation studio, I mean, probably thought that it would be better to expand on it just in order to like some scheduling issues and whatnot like maybe uh the part that they want to end on is not uh you know they're not able to end on a good enough point and that's why they had to expand the last episode anyways here uh in this one i'm expecting either for anya to go to school or at least prepare to go to school right we are definitely going to be ending this episode at least at a point where she's probably at school and i'm interested to see how that dynamic is going to work out is it going to be a case of you know just focusing on one character per episode because this is going to be the f actual first time when uh after all three of the characters are introduced they're each off doing their own thing right so with that in mind let's get into the episode all right uh i actually skipped the opening here and let's just begin in the episode directly in three two one play Okay, so I guess we are going with the getting ready for school thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm suspecting there's going to be some sort of bullying already. Not necessarily from the students, but from the other headmaster, right? Oh, kidnappings. Well, it is like a prestigious school. I'm pretty sure the uniforms are really high quality as well. <laughs> What's with all the peace? Ah, uh, okay. A cipher, eh? <laughs> because that's what you're gonna have to eat. <laughs> De la shape. Uh, why is Anya so adorable? Wow, face recognition technology in the eighties.
You look like you look like someone from Hogwarts or something. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so they need to actually attend the like parents gatherings and whatnot. Imperial scholars. Okay, so in other words, Anya needs to really shine there and become a star. Bolts. <laughs> A lightning mark, eh? Ta da! <laughs> Why do it? I think one of the first things would probably be dropping the Anya Sun, the Miss Anya thing. Well, they picked the wrong gal to miss with. Oh, an instant kidnap. Ooh, that was quick. Oh. 
Oof. Oh, but all of the <laughs> all the food. <laughs> Who's comforting who? Jeez. <laughs> well, at least I mean I didn't get tra trauma over this, right? I certainly don't know if you train her to be an assassin girl. <laughs> yeah. Are they gonna mention what happened? Oh, are we actually gonna- Yep, we actually are gonna get into the school in this episode. Alright. I thought we were gonna be in preparation for the entire episode. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's probably some that bought their way in, right? I wonder who's the headmaster now. Oh, this diamond dude. Look at it. What are chances that that uh, annoying headmaster is actually the head of <laughs> of of this class? Uh, look at her. Hmm? Oh, okay.
Oh, okay. It's actually the good sensei. Oh. Okay, so typically it wouldn't be him taking care of this. I guess that's what they're saying. This is sort of like punishment for him, eh? Although really, in a lot of ways, Anya's ability is really amazing, right? Like, even at a long distance, she can pinpoint on one single person and read their thoughts. No, no, no. Oh, good. Oh, who? I feel like that that was definitely the best yeah. <laughs> She's the big sis. <laughs> what? <laughs> Although I kind of get this feeling that Daimian... And... Uh, especially at this age, right? <laughs> especially at this age, right? This might actually turn into... Mm, feelings of affli uh, affliction? <laughs> Look at that, yes, face. Oh, and is she going to try and be like, I did nothing!
Does she already get one bolt? Oh, three bolts. That's what I thought as well. Eh, it's just the first day, right? <laughs> Relationship with Dami at minus seven, minus a hundred. <laughs> ah, come on, we all saw that one coming. All right, I will see you guys after this. Well, now drama on the very first day of school, right? Uh, but honestly, we could all see where that was going, and you know, don't lie, don't lie. Everybody feels good uh, about that punch, right? I mean, obviously. Anya is not necessarily going to win in a battle of, of words, like if she had a sharper tongue or was more quick-witted then maybe she could have resolved this situation with a sort of like um, a tongue lashing sort of beatdown instead of a physical beatdown. But you know, at this stage, she can only throw a punch and hey, it's just one, it's just one demerit, right? It's just one bolt. I'm sure there's going to be something later on that will help her earn stars. And by the way, I do love that entire sort of counting system that they're doing here. I I feel like it does add a certain dynamic to to the story going forward where we can actually keep track of oh okay so is this is this action going to earn her a star or is this action going to earn her a bolt and and stuff of that sort right it just adds another layer to this entire thing and we can really be invested with Anya's time at school because rather than some very vague like just do well with the grades or or try to maintain a relationship form a relationship with the other kids or whatnot this is something that's more easily trackable right and, and I do feel like it, it really adds to the, um, the way that we look at the story going forwards. And obviously at this point, plan B is probably out of the works, right? We're going prob most probably going to have to go with plan A, let her become an Imperial Scholar, and then get close to Desmond's using that kind of method in that sort of uh, more neutral kind of setting here. Although with that being said though, like I'm not entirely convinced that that uh, Anya and Daim Damien is, are going to be like mortal enemies throughout. Like I can definitely tell that you know, there's no way that they're going to, the Forgers are going to get along with the Desmonds, right? I mean, the, the fact that Damien acts this way just says all you need to know about their family. Um, most probably even if they um, if they eventually meet up, right, guardian to guardian and whatnot, uh, I, I have a sneaking suspicion that the Desmonds probably will not like the Forgers very much. Uh, probably look down on them as well. Uh, but however, however, I'm not, like I said, I, I don't think it, we will uh, definitely end with, with Damien uh, just being like a mortal enemy to, to Anya. And the reason for this is even though he's, he's certainly he's acting like this sort of spoiled brat that he is, uh, coming from that family, very arrogant, flaunts his family um, and his family titles and, and so on and so forth, at the end of the day he is still just a kid, right? So I feel like there's plenty of opportunities, especially with someone's personality like Anya and someone, uh, you know, with the fact that she does have mind reading skills. There just might be a chance that eventually Damien might uh, warm up to to uh, Anya instead, right? And you know, maybe through some events and whatnot. And who knows? Maybe they will become friends. And heck, I feel like maybe even um, you know, maybe Damien will even fall for Anya, right? I could totally see that happening. Like, I'm, this is definitely not crazy talk. I could totally see a situation where that happens instead. So, um, so we'll just have to see in the future, right? But. Um, Definitely, uh, that that's uh, 
yeah, that's that's how things are. And you know, the funny thing is, I keep on getting a sort of like Harry Potter vibe throughout this entire thing. Uh, you know, not just because of the school setting and whatnot, and and obviously it's a prestigious school, and there's this clash of tradition versus more more free thinking, more more modern sort of approach. And then you have like a commoner commoner versus you know those of lineage and and that, that kind of thing. And I don't know, it just kind of gives me a lot of the the, the sort of Harry Potter vibes in in this sort of setting here um but yeah that's that's that for the first day of school um we didn't really get to see like what would actually happen if uh anya is just left to herself for the entirety of the day but you know maybe next episode and then of course there's this also other part where we see yoru in action once again uh giving a good beating to the thugs unfortunately not as big as a beating as i'm sure most people would would want it and certainly not not enough to satisfy me but hey some some uh some important mother daughter bonding time as well uh and you know getting to see the cool side of yoru uh, i'm sure she will have more opportunities to shine in the future so beyond that though i don't really think there's too much else to add in this episode here um yeah i don't really think i think that's just about it and so in the next episode, once we actually get into the classes and whatnot, see what kind of extracurricular activities there are, then maybe we can sort of try and formulate a plan for, for Anya to try and earn her eight stars and get into the Imperial Scholar program. I mean, guys, can you imagine it? Like someone like Anya becoming an Imperial Scholar? Like, I, I don't... Even though I, I rewatched it a little bit, I still don't quite get if they are supposed... They can only get an, uh, this Imperial Scholar thing if they have both eight stars and great grades right and they uh or is it just that is it is it an either or um so not quite sure there maybe maybe they can clarify a little bit more in the upcoming episodes but definitely you know out of these two things right grades and and stars i definitely feel like there's probably a a higher chance for her to start getting those stars first and then we'll worry about the grades later so anyways that's it for this episode thank you guys i will see you guys next time Bye bye